Good morning, everyone. Tony here. Today I feel like ranting a bit. No particular topic. Just had a few things lingering in my mind that I want to get off my chest. First of all, uh, financial. I'm talking about the business world. The housing market. The prices right now of homes here in Montreal and uh, even the outskirts has blown up. You cannot get close to a property anymore. The value of homes is so overvalued, I believe, in my opinion. This is a bubble that's going to burst. I think that people that are buying houses right now are setting themselves up for a trap if they are not financially stable or capable. But I, I don't see this sustainable anymore. I've, I've, I'm seeing these little bungalows, these little sheds selling for half a million dollars. Whereas two years ago, they would have been, you know, 60%, 75% the price of what they are now. I think this whole pandemic is completely uh, playing with people's minds. People are not spending money anymore on uh, other stuff. So they're spending money on buying homes, or renova renovating homes and buying homes that they're going completely cuckoo. I'm looking, well, I'm kind, I was kind of in the market for a home. But at this point, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I can't buy anything in Montreal. At the budget that, that I have, I have to go way out of Montreal no, and not cross one bridge. I got to maybe cross two bridges, which is something I never wanted to do. But as time goes by, if I were to buy something anytime soon or this year, I think I'm going to have no choice but to do. Which brings me to option number two. Should I wait a bit more and see if this market levels off? which I think it, it will once uh, if, and I mean, if not, if it's, it's going to happen. The question is when are the uh, interest rates going to rise? Because we know they're very low. Uh, actually, they're at a historically lo low level. So, I mean, I, I don't know if they are going to go down anytime soon. I suspect they will. I suspect the world markets will uh, take a, a, a big nosedive. I see a crash imminent, and that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the factor. The snowball effect is going to come from the stock market, and it's going to it's going to play itself out in all the other sectors, uh, which housing being one of them. So right now, like I said, I think the people that, that are buying right now with very little cash and big loans, big mortgage loans, are setting themselves up for a trap. If the interest rate goes up but a few points, I believe a lot of people are going to have a hard time affording these houses. So well, that's my first thing I wanted to talk about today. The second thing I wanted to mention was more on the self-help uh, topic. We all want to better ourselves. We all want to be a better version of ourselves than we were in the past. I guess that is the standard by which everybody should measure themselves and not compare themselves to other people, but more so compare themselves to who they were in the past. And I read a lot of book, a lot of books on self-help. It's you know, I, I enjoy reading those books. And I believe the number one success habit someone could have in life. The number one success formula or trick or call it whatever you want is to take action 
I know you've, you've heard it a million times, but that is the most important aspect of, of anything you do in life, or I mean of anything you want to do in life, is to actually take action. Yes, researching on a specific topic, subject is great. It's important. You need to. But at one point, you got to stop researching and actually getting your feet wet. So many people spend so much time in that loop of, let's read another book. Let's get more information. Okay, I know how to do this, but let's get some more information on how to do that in case this goes wrong. Let's look at another video. Let's attend another seminar. Let's take another course. That becomes what, what's known as paralysis by analysis. That's when you overthink, you overstudy, you become overly competent in whatever it is that you want to overtake, but that you, you will never do because you're too scared to actually take the plunge, take the jump. So like Steve Harvey said once in one of his videos, in order for your parachute to open, you got to jump off that cliff. You got to jump. Now, it might happen that the parachute doesn't open and you fall and you bruise yourself and you hurt yourself all the way down. Hopefully, you don't die. You don't kill yourself. But when that happens, walk the way all back up and jump again. And hopefully, this time, the parachute's going to open and you repeat it. And you repeat it. As long as you repeat it, one day the parachute will open and you will soar. But the parachute will never open if you do not jump. So in other words, whatever it is that you want to do in life, you want to start a business, start it. You want to start a YouTube channel, start it. You want to buy a home, just do it. That, that's been one of my problems in my life is that I always overanalyzed everything that I wanted to do which kept me behind. I always used to think I was smarter than the other guys. I was you know, more rational, more, uh, I was more of a logical person. I would do my research first. And at the end, I'd still be researching while the other guys, actually, the other guys who were quote unquote, not as smart, as I was, not as sharp as I was, they actually jumped and they opened that business. They started that YouTube page. They started that 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 that, that uh, online uh, business. They bought that house. They bought that property. They bought that piece of land. And today, months, years, decades later, I find they they've done the right choice. They're in a way ahead of me because I overanalyzed. And the more you overanalyze, the more time passes. Hey, you know what happens? Inflation. Inflation is not your friend. Money in the bank devaluates every single year. So, yeah. Um, I think the best quality, the best business people out there, I mean, most of all, to all business people out there, I believe all share that quality. Uh, is that they, they, they will take action. They took action in order for them to have what they have, in order for them to accomplish what they accomplish, They took action. And this is what I'm doing now, all right? I've, I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for the last seven, eight years. I remember, I could easily say in 2012 or 13, I wanted to start a YouTube channel with a bunch of buddies of mine. We would talk about it every single night. Like, hey, why don't we post these videos on YouTube? Just just us doing stupidities. Maybe it's going to work, you know? And we never did it. Then about five years ago, I wanted to start a channel on exposing fake gurus and people that sell courses and all these shady characters on the internet. And I actually filmed... I believe two or three videos. This was in January of 2016. I never posted them. I was too embarrassed, too shy, uh, not confident enough that 
my videos were good enough and I didn't and today I regret it and if you guys actually look it up on YouTube there's a YouTube channel called uh, Coffeezilla and he's basically a YouTuber who exposes all of these gurus he's basically doing he's in the niche of what I wanted to do five years ago and I believe his channel was not even it was non-existent five years ago that means that I would have done what he's doing right now very successfully I would have done it before him doesn't mean I would have succeeded but I my idea was there before his and he just proved to me by the fact that his channel is successful he just proved to me that it would have been a successful idea it would have been a good idea and I didn't do it so I'll be 40 in six months and I'm holding myself accountable like I said I believe in the first or second video I will started oh well, i started a youtube youtube channel i don't know which direction i'm taking i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm still practicing you know my first 10 15 20 videos are gonna be practice are gonna be to test the waters to get my feet wet but from there on i want to create my own channel i want to create a home studio i want to learn how to edit my own videos create my own thumbnails i basically want to have a professional youtube channel and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's see where this takes me. Like I said before, I'm gonna get my feet wet. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did in the past because in 10 years from now, I don't wanna regret what decision I could have taken today that I wouldn't have if I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel. All right, so see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.